Let's break down where these protests are coming from. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Yeah, where are they coming from? George Soros. It'd be really funny if they were like, yep, George Soros is doing this. <laughs> By saying Soros, they're showing their interlocutors that word has no meaning for them, and they will be taken aback. Yeah. <laughs> Hold up, guys. I dropped a big Soros bomb. A big one. I don't think it's George Soros, by the way. And I don't think they're going to say George Soros. From who is funding them, where they started, uh, and actually where the dollars are going. All right, well, let's begin. First off, they're everywhere. And they're everywhere, Brian, but they're often under one banner. This is what to know behind these protests you're seeing. Camp on campus organizations, Students for Justice in Palestine. Brian, it's it's basically behind most of the major campus protests we've seen. And as I pointed out, as I mentioned, it's everywhere. It's all across the country. Yeah, you got 200 plus uh, chapters of uh, various sizes, smaller ones over in Tufts, small ones over in Emerson, but bigger in the Ivy League schools. How do they c communicate? You could guess it. Uh, they go through the... <laughs> Wait, I thought there was like a big shadowy mega donor behind all of this. It turns out they're just describing how college students protest and also how they communicate and organize that's right everybody college students are on that tic tac let me tell you okay and they're doing it right in front of our eyes the uh go through the cell phone go through text messages go through certain sites and these are some of the colleges that have gotten our attention yeah these are the notable chapters these are the ones we're covering in the news right now they're talking about it like it's that map of active white supremacy hate groups bro if this was a map of active white supremacy hate groups they would be talking about how fucking patriotic they are okay it, i'm sure i'm sure they're they have done a shit ton of coverage about like how woke and gay media matters is or all these like right-wing tracker uh accounts are and right-wing tracker media operations are for looking at a bunch of brave patriots you know the gravy seals doing what needs to be done now they're making the most noise you know berkeley nyu yale columbia but again i think the important point is 200 plus chapters across the country for students for justice in Palestine. So they've been there, they've been simmering underneath, waiting since October 7th. There's been a lot of talk about the- Yeah, they've been waiting. Ooh, they're waiting in the shadows. <laughs> they're like, ooh, I can't wait. <laughs> they're talking about students like they're the guys that did 9-11. Brother, if Republicans, right-wingers, and reactionaries across the board had their way, we would be prosecuting every college student in Guantanamo Bay. We would be throwing them in Guantanamo Bay. I think some of the reason why at least a lot of right-wing Americans love Israel, other than the theological justifications for Armageddon, other than the fact that, you know, it aligns with the State Department interests, other than the fact that they are enemies of our uh, enemies, is also the underlying feeling of jealousy that Israel gets to do advanced fascism so openly in broad daylight. And it's exactly that kind of advanced fascism that many of these guys desperately want here in the United States of America. So many of these people want to do Israel shit to the fucking students that are protesting the Israel shit that Israel is doing to the Palestinians. The pro, uh, uh, pro Israel because of the massacre they suffered. But believe it or not, if you go on TikTok, there are more things stand with Palestine from October 7th, even the following week, than there was stand with Israel. So the big question is, well, who's behind Students for Justice in Palestine? Well, here are some of the groups funding that organization. It's great, man. It's it, it, cool. Thank you. Thank you for this. Uh, phenomenal coverage, Fox News. Justice and, and we've seen these groups out and about. We've seen them with signs, and we've seen some of their chants in terms of what are their resources when they go to jail? What are their resources when they get kicked off campus? Like uh, Ula Omar, uh, Congressman Omar's uh, daughter. <laughs> this is where they can <laughs> Congressman. <laughs> go. These are where a lot of the fun. Bro, 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 almost hit the Shahada on accident, dude. Funding is. Yeah, they go to. A15 bail, legal defense fund. This is, they, they're not only organizing, putting it together, but what happens to you yeah. if you're arrested at the protest? Yeah, this isn't mom, I got drunk last night, I'm in prison, I, I got a drunk driving ticket. They know exactly where to go when they get themselves in trouble, and they know exactly their rights when they get themselves on campus. Damn, that's really fucked up that they know their rights, dude. <laughs> dude, this is, a, this is just a glaring W for the pro-Palestinian students, you know what I mean? These guys, they're too smart. They know their fucking rights, man. It's really messed up. We should take their rights away. They're organized.
and they're informed and we hate that god i i fucking i'm so mad right now and this leads to this other funding um student governments right. talking about how the protests run self-funded american muslims for palestine a lot of this is opaque stuff. student governments when i was in college they used to pick out stand-up comedians and when to appear and what venue to go there they're doing protests now this might be the most important wall well this is off-campus stuff so students for justice for palestine that's on-campus student organizations then you got stuff that's happening off of campus like, yeah now let's get to the good stuff the real demons okay like Am american muslims for palestine the parent organization informally of sjp right and you see a lot of these lecturers hop on campus they got to get paid that's where the money comes from we see a lot of their antics like on monday was el quds day they stopped the uh, golden gate <laughs> monday was el quds day they were saying we will dismantle the zionist entity <laughs> bridge they may be blocked traffic in your tunnel in your area to make what the point that they're powerful that they have something to say and al quds not a positive organization well tell everybody what is al quds a reference of they're the they're the outgrowth of the al quds committee april death to america protest the islamic republic of iran the al quds force is the one that kills our people in iraq and tries to bomb them out in kills our people in iraq Bro, what are our people doing in Iraq? I thought we pulled out. What the fuck do you mean? Why are our people in Iraq? What's going on there? Is anyone going to ask that question? What, what are they doing over there? What's, what's that about? Uh, okay, never mind. In Syria, as early as late as two days ago. So named after Al-Quds, the Al-Quds committee is the one, for example, the protest you heard, death to America. Guys, 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 you need to understand something. Many of you in the chat are woke libtards talking about Al Quds actually means Jerusalem in Arabic. In Arabic, do you understand something? It sounds scary to me, though. Another thing that they're teaching our children in school, algebra. That's right. That they are teaching our children Islamic sciences in our schools, teaching them the number zero and the number one and two teaching them algebra i will not be having that it's kind of fucked up if you ask me we better stop that shit right now no more numbers a chance that's this group who also has big plans come this summer the worst is yet to come for the dnc in chicago plans oh they love that he's like oh yeah they're gonna fucking disrupt the dnc it's like so already in place to create chaos in the streets inside or out and they're not pro-Republican, they're just anti-Democratic Party unless they change and become pro-Palestinian. So that's the astroturf behind. That's the astroturf? You did not describe. Bro either doesn't know what astroturfing means or just, you know, is I guess trying to act like this is actual stuff. I don't know, like misinforming their audience deliberately. He just described how all of these college campus students are literally communicating and organizing on social media, which genuinely is the exact opposite. It is like fundamentally the opposite of astral turfing. He described a grassroots movement. And then just simply ended it by saying, and that's how they're astroturfing it, folks. A lot of these protests that you see that look like students, and it does attract students, but this is the funding, the organization behind these student protests across campus. And I'm Steve Ducey. I'm he, he mentioned a bunch of self-funded philanthropic organizations that don't just work with Palestinian, pro-Palestinian activists uh, that get arrested, but just across the board, like work with uh, bail funds and whatnot. Tied it all together and, and uh, openly recognized that they were uh, openly recognized that they were, you know, organizing on social media, uh, genuinely gr uh, grassroots, only to turn around and be like, and that's how I, that's why it's AstroTurf, folks.